Hi guys, it's been a while since I did like a video game stream. I'm just up at night and I found this game a while back. It's called Paracousia. It's a game that's... I mean, I'll just cut to the chase. This game is probably the best type of Silent Hill game you'll find on itch.io. So let's jump into the game. So it's only a demo, so it doesn't matter if you pick normal or hard. You know, hard... Hard doesn't really change things that much. So I'm going to show you guys the game. When it loads. So right away we have these PS1, PS2 graphics. You know, just the environment, everything's beautiful. The way he walks is fluent, like classic 90s tank controls. The guy's face looks a little... Inventory screen is a little lackluster. I'm trying to remember, forget which button it was to make him run. But I can't find it. So give me a sec. One of these, okay, so the B button runs. So the first thing you might notice if you play this game is the setting is a movie theater. And this guy's face looks like he's high or something. Or he's seen a ghost. He looks completely zoned out. And this and the story of the game is basically he's looking for this girl, which I forgot. And uh, here's where you start. So this is like a monologue that somebody who worked here made, one of the attendants at the theater, and he's just talking about how he doesn't like all the Hollywood producers and how arrogant they are and stuff like that, stopping by at the theater. So, the first thing you should do from the memo is check the restroom. You know, these games intrigue me so much that I like to upload them on my, uh, what's it called? I like to upload them on my YouTube and keep memos of all these different games. Because I love these, these uh, third-person tank control games that they don't make anymore. And, you know... I just love it. I mean, one exception would maybe be Dino Crisis, because I like the game a little, a little, but you can't really enjoy Dino Crisis because you're always running, you're always running and gunning, and some of the puzzles are convoluted. So, I'm starting to think that this guy might be the guy in the memo, because, you know, the story isn't done, but this guy doesn't look so well. Then again, he's not dressed in a suit like a Hollywood producer. So, when you get to this room, I like that the puzzles in this game are very standard and precise and concise. They're not insane puzzles. There we have the Silent Hill 2 mirror where he looks in the mirror. He has the funny eyes. Oh, you got a pistol from here. Wow. I completely forgot. And in this game, 
the pistol is not actually a very valuable weapon. Because, I mean, it's, it's okay, but in terms of killing enemies, the person who made this game decided to make a weird choice that basically you have to, uh, you can't really kill enemies with the gun because it takes many hits to kill the enemies and you lose a lot of bullets so that was an odd choice why the, the creator of this game decided that you can't just down the enemies fast you know like in Silent Hill but maybe it adds to the horror aspect I mean not until you get the shotgun I'm not going to do a full playthrough of this game because, well, you know, I'm just trying to get my channel going and it's, it's a lot of work. You know, this is still like a one hour demo. I'm just going to walk you through, you know, the first part of it. You're probably wondering what the whole premise of the game is about. Besides him looking for the girl, this unnamed man is locked in this theater, so he needs to find a way out of it. Locked. So, naturally, oh yeah, we have the staff key. Gotta use your head. Pay attention to the items you get in these games. So we're running around for no reason. Like in all survival horror games, the preferred method of dealing with enemies is mostly often running away from them and avoiding them. You know, it might take like 15 bullets, it might take all 20 bullets just to down one enemy, so it's not worth it. Oh, here we go. So we got some zombies. I just stood there so you guys could see it. But I'm not sticking around. So here's your save book. The game didn't take me 18 minutes. I assure you that. So we're going to go to file 2 and save. Ah, uh, control room 2 key. So we got a key. He runs in a kind of a funny way. You know. But that's, that's 90s animation for you. So what did this say again? Don't go over 100. Maybe that has to do with the traffic or something. sucks that I'm not going to show the end part of the game because that's when the game gets really spicy and cool. So I know there's an enemy here. So then you have an enemy here who's very stagnant. He's not moving at all. But he's a prequel of what to, what's to come. So it's it looks like a giant ball of hay with a mask. Very strange stuff.
So I'm sorry, I didn't mean to skip the dialogue. Because my button just... Like, I don't have a very good controller now. So it's basically a monologue about how he found the Hollywood guys creepy. And if you notice in that corner right there is an item. Sticks out. So this enemy is a very strange looking enemy. He's really a prequel of what's to come later on. I mean I could theorize what this is. I just say it's a ball of hay with a mask. Maybe this guy has like some type of paranoia because the game's called Paracousia. But, you know, let's see what else is here. What's this? Oops. It's kind of creepy that sometimes a monster is creepier when it's not attacking you and it's just watching you. Just for the sake of this stream, I'm gonna shoot at it. Normally, I wouldn't. Well, it doesn't react for now. So, let's get going. Ah, uh, here we are. Here's our next enemy in the game. Now this is what the bullets do. You're gonna see. The bullets are not very effective as you can see. I shot at him like five or six times and he's not going down. I mean, how many bullets do I have left? It says I have 20, but I probably wasted a bunch because I just picked up ammo. So, you know, hmm. a clock sits at the empty table. Hmm. Look at this guy's face. You can see his face now, what I'm talking about. He looks really creeped out. He looks like a zombie. Eh, yeah, I think they could have done better on his texture for his body. I mean, it, you can't really see his clothes. It looks like he's wearing a white pajama jumpsuit. Remember, in this room, there was, there was an item trickily hidden. See, in these horror games, they try to spice it up. They always put an item trickily hidden. Somewhere where you'd never think. On one of these dish racks is an item. There, we have the concession key, which is actually a useless item because you can actually go into the concession room without using the key. Well, the game is still in its demo phase, so... So this guy, you can't really, you can't really kill him. Best thing you want to do is move the pad around and, and run from him. Ay ay ay. Nope. Oh 
Minecraft. Man, this is a bad day right here. Alright, we're gonna try to take him out. Alright, we avoided him. I thought that was the end of me right there. I don't know, I'm just going indoors. So right now what we have to do is run away from this guy. That wasn't painfully obvious. What's in here? Oh, it's this room with the, with the weirdo. You know, these type of games I really love because, you know, I've been very depressed these past weeks. And, you know, these games are like a breath of fresh air. You know. So, logic, the most logical thing you'll want to do now is save. So we have the control room and the concession key. So you're gonna want to save the game now. Nice feature about this game is that there's actually rumbling. There's a rumble feature with the controller. So when an enemy is nearby, the game's rumbling. You go here. Let me see. No, you can't use it. Hmm. Now we got another bastard here. Damn, that was a narrow dodge. Yeah, you gotta use the D-pad. Don't even... This is why I said the concession key is... is useless, because you can just go into the concession stand from here. I didn't even use the key, see? So over here you get this knife. Just like classic Silent Hill, the knife is useless. Uh, well, I can't say that. Actually, the knife is just useful on a specific enemy. It's not useful on those zombie mannequins. Here's our first first aid kit. First, first. You know, the actually, the whole area of... The whole th premise of being in a movie theater is actually not a very... Not a very new premise. It was actually done in Silent Hill, uh... Oh, shit. You know, we'll talk later about that. It was done in the Silent Hill on the PSP. So, the whole movie theater premise has been done, done already. But it's still cool to see. So, we have a key to control room 2. So, I guess we have to go to 2. Okay, we're running into some heat. We got a key to control room 2, but 2 doesn't want to open. Hmm. What are we going to do? Should have saw this coming. Plot twist. So I try both keys, and they don't seem to work.
Sorry if I'm doing this twice in a row. I'm a little tired now. It's late. Well, seems like there's no control room here. I guess naturally we're going to have to go back and deal with that. Well, we're not going to deal with them, but... So I hope this is control room too. Well, actually it's the concession room, which we just went into. I think we did. Uh, so the concession room does have a use. You use the concession room free key to cross out this guy. Because this is frigging a zombie guy, it's relentless. I might as well use the health pack now. Man, I got lost already. Got lost. And the keys are not doing anything. Just great. Oh, I'm having a blast right now. So, a key can be used to enter control room too. So, we gotta find this control room or whatever. That means we gotta click on doors a lot. I mean, there's no other option at this point. The door has to be up here. Okay, projection room one, projection room two. Ah, uh, we have a nice classic puzzle here. The puzzle is called Bring up all the switches. But it's not that easy. Well, actually, I guess I just cheesed it. Nope. I'm not liking this right now. Okay. See what I said about the puzzles? They're just good, logical, they're not they're not too the puzzles are not too you know crazy convoluted. They're just good puzzles. Simple. So
Well, he was too busy slapping the air. So, I thought I was gonna take a hit. So... A sneaky guy, that's for sure. Okay, I'm really lost right now. Where am I going? <laughs> yeah, you know, sometimes in games that stuff happens. So, now that we have Theater 2K, there you go. So there's probably more stuff around there or not. This is where I end the playthrough. It's a great game, check it out, you know. And that's that's all for Paracusia. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe, whatever you want. Peace out.